Hi everyone. Today is the first day that I'm going to start working on Hoop Sister Zoo Animal Retreat. I thought I'd show you the fabrics that I chose. Um, I'm going to do Ellie the elephant, so I've chosen pink, pink fabrics with a couple little um, additional colors. Like I've got a a pretty little teal blue and some green in there. Kind of a fun stripe. You can see the furry piece of fabric there. That's going to be for my elephant ears. The pink flannel is my backing. And this wonderful gray is my background. I've got my instructions all printed out and I'm ready to go. I thought I would also show you how I uh, start out with my battleizer. Okay, so here's what I've done with my battleizer. I have cut it in half lengthwise. That leaves me with exactly the right width of battleizer for my eight and a half by, or my eight by eight hoop, which is what we're using for this project. Then I roll it up and clip it together so that it doesn't get all unruly. So I'm just gonna flip that over. And you can see what I have in my hoop now is block A1 of Ellie the Elephant. And if I get up real close, you can see the quilting of the little elephants. They're just adorable. The next step for me now is going to be to put Ellie's part of Ellie's ear in. So that's gonna be done in that pretty pink fur. I'll go ahead and do that. And soon you'll see more posts of my progress. I hope that you join us in this project. It's really a fun, um, fun quilt to do. There's three projects. There's the elephant quilt. There's a boo-boo bag to put an ice pack in for a little one's uh, skinned up knees or whatever, um, and also a cute little knapsack for the kids. This is a great gift for your favorite grandchild or even just to donate to um, your favorite women's shelter. Okay, so my first four blocks for Hoop Sisters Zoo Animal Retreat are done. I wanted you to see how little space I have between the blocks using the rehooping method with a long piece of battleizer. Really, really easy not to waste a lot of battleizer this way. You'll notice I haven't done any of the pinking yet. Um, I'm gonna do that all at once when I get all of my blocks done. Uh, but the first floor, row A, one, two, three, and four are all done. Check in with you later. Okay, so I have another little quick tip for you here. The outer edges of the zoo animal quilt do not need to be trimmed using the Trimmer by George. I have a hard time remembering not to trim them. I get on a roll and I just trim all four edges. So I found a, a slick little trick for myself is to put a clip on each of the edges that I am not supposed to touch with the rotary cutter and then that keeps me out of trouble. So now I will just use my Trimmer by George and trim the two sides that I do not have a clip on and I'll be ready for assembly it when I finish all my blocks.